What is this? What's happening to me? Holy. I have lost control of the situation. Oh! It's every plus size person's nightmare. You travel to a fabulous location, but your suitcase gets lost along the way. Oh, just go and buy new clothes, your thinner friends might say, because they don't know that if you're above a certain size, your chances of finding clothes that fit are small. Well, I'm about to turn the nightmare into a dream come true. I'm gonna visit eight cities with just the clothes I'm wearing. Then I'm gonna try and find a day look and a night look to explore the city. Will I be too nude to leave the hotel? Woo! It's the Empty Suitcase Show, and we're about to find out. Michael. Oh, this did. Guess what? What? It's the Charleston episode. The Charleston episode? Who's going to be joining us, Kristen? It's Freddie. Freddie. But Freddie's on a different flight. Oh. So <laughs> we will be meeting her in Charleston. Save the day. Save the day. I mean, I'm going to get close. Ooh, it is humid here. It is October. For once, I'm dressed appropriately. <laughs> Wow, are you proud of yourself? Yeah, it's a little sweaty. I said that I wanted to get some oysters, and Mike thought I said I wanted to get some oysters, and I'm like, those are just free in Charleston. <laughs> Yum. We are here at Hyatt Place in Charleston, South Carolina on King Street. And I'm here with the wonderful Freddie for her very first Empty Suitcase episode. Da -da 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 -da. Hey. <laughs> Just like Devin was in a couple Empty Suitcase episodes, Freddie will also be joining me for a couple of episodes, and Jen will be in the back four episodes. So Freddie, what do you think that plus size shopping in Charleston is like? This is actually my first time ever in Charleston. For some reason, I'm optimistic. To give you an idea, we have assembled a not-so-scientific anecdote. We have put together a list of five popular shopping centers here in Charleston, and we have counted 78 women's clothing stores amongst them. Guess how many of them carry my size, which is a size 20. Based on the way you delivered that question, <laughs> I'm gonna say four. We've identified 14 stores which carry a size 20 or larger. Oh, it is better than I thought. It's 14. Okay, but that's still. I think percentage wise, it is the best not so scientific statistic so far. As with every episode, I also say that the only reason why we were able to do this show at all is because I am only a size 20. If I was larger than say a 24, the number of stores I'd be able to shop at would drop like precipitously. So the fact that I'm even able to do this show at all is in fact a privilege. So today we are going to Closet Case Thrift Store, which is a store run by We Are Family, which is a charity that helps support the local LGBTQ plus community here in Charleston. Fun! This is a thrift store that has a bunch of different sizes, so it will be a little bit more difficult for me. I'm gonna rely on you! I got you, girl. That's why I brought you along! It's cheating! <laughs> We are here at Closet Case Thrift Store here in lovely Charleston with the folks of We Are Family. Can you tell me a little bit about yourselves? My name is Jonathan. I use he, him, and pronouns, and I run the thrift store here. I'm Nigeria Richardson, and I use they, them, and she, her pronouns, and I'm the executive director of We Are Family. My name is Cora Webb. I am the program director here at We Are Family, and I go by they, them, and she, her pronouns. We Are Family is the second oldest LGBTQ nonprofit in the state of South Carolina. We are we also have a trans love fund and we give trans peoples in South Carolina micro grants. Closet Case is a gender inclusive thrift teak and all the funds from Closet Case Thrift Store help support the programs of We Are Family. Which is why I've also donated a box of my clothes to the store. So it's like take some pennies and I also left a box of pennies. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be looking for a day look and a night look. Ooh. I actually get very freaked out with thrift stores that sell a lot of sizes. This is the only thrift store that's not a especially plus size thrift store that we are going to this season. So the stakes are a little higher here. You're gonna have a lot of fun exploring items you're gonna find, a lot of cool treasures. Have fun playing dress up, guys. All right, goodbye. Yeah. We're gonna 
to start with my wife of 50 years, dresses. <laughs> and my wife of two years, Freddie. Yes. <laughs> this automatically stuck out to us, I think. I don't know if it's going to fit, but whenever I see like a vintage maxi dress, I'm always just like, yeah. doesn't need to zip up all the way. It's a V-back now. A v <laughs> this jumped out at me right away. I can see a nice pair of cute little jean booty shorts underneath. <laughs> just like grandma would have made. <laughs> Freddie, more than any other friend I have, can get me to wear things that I would not wear. And so I feel like Freddie is gonna use that opportunity for evil. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, just as I'm saying that. <laughs> I try to stay away from this type of silhouette because on me, it's like less like cute mom who loves books and more circus that just rolled into town. <laughs> what is this? What's happening to me? Oh, I love her. She speaks her mind. <laughs> oh, yes. I run the bank. I have pockets. <laughs> When Freddie pulled this out, I was like, that's such a beautiful color, beautiful lining, not gonna fit on my body. And then Freddie was like, put it on, I don't care about your opinions. Fred, I would've walked right past this. Yes. I'd've been like, not for me. <laughs> what would you do with this? I would do a super cute graphic tee. We're having a brief intermission because I found a blazer for Freddie. So I like this blazer. <laughs> And I think this blazer likes me. You're not playing games with the blazer? Uh, no. Well, I think I'm going to text it back right away. Oh my gosh, you right a rookie mistake. Yeah, I know. You're going to split a seam. Fun jacket intermission. Back to Kristen. Okay. <laughs> does she sell Mary Kay or does she just hate the rain? If you see my apartment, you know I love pink and green. Yes. And I'm sorry to jump the gun. Really? But I would pair this and this, this together? And this together. These don't feel like they fit in the same color wheel. This is sort of like a mom's who brunch, and this is green. <laughs> <laughs> this skirt I've been thinking about since I laid eyes on it. There's really nothing to say except yes. Yeah, this skirt is the hottest girl at the bar. I like this skirt. Listen, I think everything you put on me is cute. I think everything you wear is cute, but even I have limits. <laughs> Look at the jean ruffles. This skirt kind of feels like something that was very, very cute 10 years ago and three years from now. What size is this? Maybe if it's not my size, this is all over. No, it's exactly it's my size. It's <laughs> I mean, I could just wear it up here and call it a day. I've actually done that before. I still think this is a mop and skirt form, but we will try it on. I appreciate your open mind. Either I have an open mind or I don't get a second opinion. <laughs> I must choose. Next. I feel like I would wear this, but I would cut it. And I feel bad cutting such a beautiful shirt. Okay, this is a shirt for you. You pulled this out, you looked at me like. <laughs> I don't know what this is, so we're gonna pull it out and react to it in real time. Oh. I saw that earlier and that's why I kept going past it. <laughs> I want to like modify it somehow and wear it with the skirt, but I feel like the only way to modify it is to just cut it right under the boobs. But I feel like that would end up, I cut right through this rose. Yeah. That is not where I thought that shirt was going though. <laughs> Next. <laughs> I love how I'm just like, why haven't you looked at this? And Freddie's just like, as soon as you pull that out, you'll know exactly why. Are you a flannel gal? Uh, generally no. Okay. I have lost control of the situation, so maybe I am a flannel girl now. It's a tighter squeeze back there, so I'm just gonna hang out here and wait for what Freddy delivers to me. <laughs> I'm like one of those characters in a video game that you haven't chosen yet. <laughs> oh my God, I can pretend like I was rich enough to have attended this tour. <laughs> you wouldn't know it's a restaurant. You just think that yeah. I'm a big bad breakfast. Yeah. Cause I am big and bad. And depending on who you are, I am breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Were there any shirts over here that stuck out to you? I think this plain turquoise one. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> we have now come to the palazzo pant section. The palazzo pant. Yes. It's meant to be like a looser fit, more relaxed, mm -hmm. less like, and more. Oh, I mean, I'm into the color for sure. Mm -hmm. What's this? <gasps> Ooh. I like the pattern. We're in the jeans section. Uh, uh. <laughs> don't be a brat. <laughs> I'm like a kid who's just like, I don't like broccoli. So these actually stood out to me. I feel myself slowly being talked into dressing appropriately for an occasion. <laughs> and it's never happened before. I'm very nervous. It's time to try stuff on. My favorite part. This is my least favorite part. <laughs> Go be great. <laughs> okay, bye. You ready, Fred? <laughs> What is this devious chuckle? <laughs> the great thing about this actually is that you don't have to wear a bra because you're pretty much covered. covered. <laughs> These pants fit great. No! Did you peek out the mic there a little yes. bit? <laughs> Mike's face right now. Sorry, Mike. Here's the thing, you picked up this little top on the slide. Yeah. I kind of like it. It's sort of like, it's a rainy day and I'm a writer, <laughs> but oops, I'm on deadline. <laughs> 
better <laughs> get a little tea. So this is a work in progress. These pants are fire too. This blazer, you know I'm in love. The thing about these pants is they do fit good. I am getting a little bit of crotch pocket, which okay. you're not gonna zoom in on. <laughs> anyway, the blazer is great. My question is, is this too warm for the weather? The humidity tomorrow is gonna be 67%, which like is the type of D plus you don't want. <laughs> but we will be inside. Hello. Hot damn. Wow, it fits you great. Okay, so what's happening here is the skirt is actually a little small but it's long, so I just hiked it up so now it's like super high-waisted and it doesn't hit the ground. It looks like it's meant to be worn this way. It's got stripes, it's got yes. roses. It's like the flowers are in jail. <laughs> so I came out here because I needed help getting this off, <laughs> but now I think this might be a look. Look at how cute it is. <laughs> what if I belted it? Okay, look at you. I can't get my skirt off, but make it fashion. <laughs> so the pants don't fit, so I'm holding them up with spit and tape. But here's the rest. I love it. I'm like in a Hans Christian Andersen story <laughs> about a princess who doesn't get a happy ending. This is not where I thought this skirt was going. Holy crap. I told you, I told you. Mm -mm -mm. You didn't know where the skirt was going either. I knew it was gonna be fire. <laughs> you didn't know what kind of fire. It doesn't it matter at all, birds. <laughs> I thought like, oh, this is too small. And then I hiked it up and I was like, no, it was my mind that was small. Okay, I hate to admit it, but you were right about this blouse. It looks so good. So I tied it up because it's a little small. We probably have to get like some safety pins, but that's what happens when you have boobies. This actually feels a little closer to like what I would wear, yeah. but with a what you would wear twist. A little Fred and Chris mix. Yeah. It's like checks mix. Yes. But like half of it gets invited to cool things. <laughs> <laughs> Try it on the shirt. The shirt's good. So this is a shirt that I picked up and you were like, that's so Freddy, I don't know if it's Krista. <laughs> <laughs> I talk just like that. You're right about the shirt, you're right about the print. I don't like that you were right. <laughs> I think I can go home now. My work here is done. We have had a wonderful time. Wow, you guys are ready to slay the day. We have lots yeah. of goodies. You don't get to see the goodies. No, 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 no. Thank you so much for having us. We had a really great time. Of course. Well, thanks for coming by, you guys. And you guys are welcome back anytime into our closet. Thank you. Bye, all. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. I'm done. I went to Nordstrom Rack again. It's Kristen, the world's foremost authorities on local Nordstrom Racks. Hi, Erica. Hi. <laughs> Erica is here so I can do this and don't go to sleep. Why are my glasses fogging up? <laughs> Steamy. Steamy in Charleston! So Kristen and I are dividing and conquering because we are almost out of time for her day look. She has a vision of getting a wicker basket-esque bag. I just went into one store. It had one that was too big and not the right color and it's gonna keep walking. I have like maybe an hour. It's time to get ready. And by that, I mean I've been getting ready for the last hour, but now it's time to do the last 3% of it, which we will film in short bursts to build suspense. Time for our day activity, and I'm ready to see this look. Here I come. It's me. Hi. Hello. OK. I know. I realize that I'm eating my own words with this outfit. You are. Actually, every main item of this outfit, you're eating your words. Yum, yum. <laughs> so obviously, I picked the blouse that you liked. And then, obviously, I got the skirt. And then, I also got these earrings and these shoes from Nordstrom Rack. And then, I got this cute little wicker purse from a store on King Street here in Charleston called the Skinny Dip. I had to do a little Velcro repair here. Uh -huh. I bought some Velcro from Target. And I kind of like to sort of eh, it together and yeah. then tied it here. You look so cute. I'm obsessed with this outfit. Outfit. Let me fix your collar. It's very windy today, so like every time I step out, I'm like the cover of a romance novel. <laughs> so today we are going to be going to Carmela's dessert bar to have some dessert and drinks. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> We have a couple desserts, we have a couple drinks. I have a Thin Mint. I have the French Quarter. Cheers! Cheers. Whoa! Whoa. It is a tower. It has an elevator and everything. <laughs> oh no, I got my sleeve in the chocolate. <laughs> well, she had a good run. <laughs> That's so good. I'm like really upset that you all are filming this and not eating it. I'm stuck. I'm done. There's a whole beautiful French Quarter here for us to explore yeah. in the meantime. And then we're gonna go get ready for our night activity. Yeah. 
Alright, let's go walk this off. Yes. Um, Same. <laughs> What are you wearing, Kristen? I'm wearing a towel. Deal with it, boys. <laughs> I don't know, this could be a look. Yeah, this is my night activity look. <laughs> Especially with the bra peeking out. I mean, honestly, if my night activity was going to bed, this would be a great look for that. Kristen killed it with the day look. It's now time for our night activity. Kristen, come on out. <laughs> Here I am. Okay. I am obsessed. With every episode, you just keep up in the ante. And you were kind of like messing around at the store, just like trying it on different ways. I didn't actually realize that you were gonna like move forward with this, like wearing this this way. Mm -hmm. I love it. So this is a skirt and this is a belt from Closet Case. And then I got the shoes and earrings from Nordstrom Rack and little clutch from DSW. The mules, honey. I know, this is my first heel yeah. of the season. I feel like this dress could very easily go like spring or summer, mm -hmm. but the style of the mule really like makes it appropriate for fall. I wanted to make it like sort of fall, winter, because I have the little Christmas bow earring and the little clutch. All in the detail. I figured it out. Okay, what is our night activity? So we are going to Cane Rum Bar, which is the first and only rum bar here in Charleston. It's run by Chef Paul Yellen, who serves up Caribbean-inspired cuisine. Oh my gosh. First of all, I've never been to a rum bar, mm -hmm. so I'm stoked. And also, I love Caribbean food, so I'm about to have myself a night, okay? Okay, I'm hungry. Yay. I'm gonna beat you there. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hi! Hi! How are you doing? Hi! Thank you yeah. so much for having us. You're welcome. So tell us a little bit about this lovely place that we are in. Well, you are in the only rum bar in Charleston, South Carolina. The first in about 200 years. Wow! It was an English colony, one of the 13 original colonies, and it would have been a rum drinking town. So you're bringing so it back. Bringing rum back into style. Well, I'm going to start <laughs> on your drinks, as requested. It's an instant vacation. Mm -hmm which is fresh juices, homemade ginger beer, and a lemongrass-infused rum. And what have you brought for me? This is our house pineapple daiquiri, which is pineapple juice, lime juice, rum, brown sugar, and a touch, a splash of OFTD. What does OFTD stand for? Old Fashioned Traditional Dark. But what does it like actually stand for? Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> Mine. Where's Freddy's? <laughs> Excuse? <laughs> we have two types of plantains. Sweet plantain, plantain mm -hmm. Maduro, and over here are green plantain, tostones. tostones. Spicy beef empanadas, yuca or cassava. Stamp and go uh, bacalao, which is salted codfish fritters. Ugh. Jerk chicken, garlic grilled pork. Pickles, which is a Haitian recipe, and that is a spicy vinegar slaw, which they use against fried or fatty things. Yeah, it's like an acid. It's street food that you would eat, you know, yeah. in a bar. This is not a restaurant that serves drinks. This is a bar that serves food. Oh! So the sauces, homemade banana ketchup. Oh, you don't like ketchup. I think ketchup is trash. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say that. Tomato raisin chutney. This is a curry aioli, garlic herb oil. The salted coffee bites are so good. They're like hush puppies, but like a little savory. bit more protein. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna try the yuca. Yes. I'm gonna do it with the ketchup. Try, try the, the ketchup. ketchup. Try the ketchup. Is ketchup good? Ketchup's, ketchup's good. <laughs> <laughs> your second drink. Wait, so I saw this on the menu. Apparently you're only allowed to order one. We take it case by case. If you're still standing after one. You have a blowtorch in your hand and I kind of want to see why. <laughs> ah! Is it called the zombie because when you drink it you die, but you just continue wandering the earth? <laughs> it's not a panda bear, that's for sure. No. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you so much, Chef Paul, for having us and for making us so many tasty things. Everything was so good. Yes. The drinks so were incredible. It. I have one parting thing for you. Both. <gasps> what, what is, is this? this? Wow. It's a pirate money replica. The next time you come back in, uh -huh. just give it to the bartender. And it's really up to him. Maybe it's a drink, maybe it's something to eat, maybe it's a shot. It's, it's whatever, it's whatever he's oh, wow. he, they decided it is. I love That's this. So fun. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Thank you, Thank you so much. You're welcome. That's the end of the Charleston episode. I think it went great, but I'm sad to be leaving. I feel like I need like two more days here. Well, unfortunately, you're gonna get three more hours. <laughs> so this is our only store of the season where I went to a thrift store that carried a whole bunch of sizes. And I think it went really well. And I think a big part of that was the fact that you were here with me. <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> 
I think you have like a really good ability to pull out pieces and like show the potential of that piece even before it's on my body. Thanks so much to Closet Case Thrift Store, Hyatt Place Charleston Historic District, and Carmela's for having us. And thanks so much to Kane Rum Bar for hosting us. Are you ready to go to our next city? I'm so ready, let's do it. <laughs> it's not that kind of city. Okay. <laughs>